Hey everyone, my name's Sophia, thanks for tuning in. This video is for anyone who's considering digital marketing as a career, whether you're at school, university, or already in the world of work and looking at potential career changes. Um, I am here to help offer my wisdom and experiences. Hopefully it gives you some insight and um, inspires you on some level but feel free to comment, reach out with any questions. I am more than happy to help. Um, say hello, let me know where you're at in your journey and click like and subscribe for more from me. So I have worked in the marketing industry for about 11 or 12 years now. I studied business management as my undergrad at Queen Mary University. I did a postgrad in international marketing at the University of Sussex in the UK. And during my postgrad, I also had a part-time job for a, a small local company where I applied everything I was learning into a real world business context. Um, and since then I have worked. So I've worked for small companies, I've worked for mid-size companies and I've also worked for a global corporate company and then I have switched and currently I am now a freelance marketer, self-employed, running my own business and I've been doing that since January 2020. So um, I've experienced a bit of everything so far on my journey. I still have so much more to experience of course. I've done lots of certifications um, but Digital marketing is something that I just love so much. and I'm so glad I work in this industry. Um, I obviously didn't know what I wanted to be when I grew up. I didn't know when I was a child, didn't say I wanted to be a marketer. I said I wanted to be a Spice Girl <laughs> when I was a kid. Um, but when I was at school, I loved psychology and I did psychology for my A-levels, but I also did business my GCSEs and I did economics as an A-level so I was always kind of interested in psychology but then also business and I felt like marketing kind of gave me that blend and that com combination of the two um, but my undergrad was in business management because I wasn't sure what I wanted to do and I thought it would give me a taste and a feel of a lot of different subjects a lot of different areas within business so that I could then drill down. Um, during my undergrad I it reconfirmed my love for psychology because we did consumer psychology modules, but then it also um, really kind of um, opened up the world of marketing to me and made me realise how much I loved, I was intrigued by this subject. Um, so I then did my postgrad and I had looked into consumer psychology specifically um, for my postgrad, but there aren't many universities in the UK that offer that as a specialised degree at the time anyway, maybe now they do, but I decided to go with international marketing because I was so fascinated by different cultures and how you adapt marketing for different countries and the nuances around that. I thought that was quite fascinating. And it also had modules on consumer psychology, which was important for me. I loved my degree. I loved my postgrad. I was the person that sat in the front row, put their hand up for everything. And I got a um, a first class distinction I got top of the class because I just I really really loved it and I really enjoyed it when I went into the world of work I have I have started off with more traditional marketing um so more kind of offline but then my second job was where it really then just went down this silo of, of digital marketing specifically where I was responsible for organising webinars, online events, website management, uh, social media, email marketing. So really kind of that broad spectrum of digital specifically. And um, I loved it. I loved it so much. Um, my job where I then worked for a global corporate company it was the it's the largest recruitment agency in the world it's a big american company and i was working in london i uh, was a digital marketer there i then got promoted to digital marketing manager and i was responsible for the digital marketing strategy for the uk and the middle east and i had people like me in every other country around the world that we would work closely together collaborate i loved it so much um i was there for seven years I um, had a lot of agencies, so I then worked with digital marketing agencies that were specialised in specific subjects like social media, PPC, SEO, email, you know, landing page optimization, conversion rate optimization, 
I got to work with a lot of contractors, freelancers and agencies that specialised in, in these different pockets and analytics as well. So with digital marketing, it's a really broad spectrum, which I love. There is just so much to it and you can be a generalist or you can go down a path and, and become a specialist or an expert in one specific area. You can become an expert in, in analytics and, and Google Analytics. You know, you could be the Google Analytics person. Um, but what I have absolutely loved about this whole journey so far is how much I continually, continually learn, how much I grow every day. This industry is always evolving, always changing and people's um, behaviour changes, consumer behaviour changes. And, you know, you have to adapt. It's adapt or die. You have to constantly adapt and um, really cater to people's tastes, the way that people people's habits change, the way that they expect information to be given to them, the way they expect to buy things. And that's what makes it so interesting because you have to be creative. You have to be um, on it. You have to be have your finger on the pulse keeps it so interesting you can never get bored there's never there's no time to get bored <laughs> um but then you also have to use so you've got, you've got the left side of your brain being quite creative and open-minded um and ideas driven but then on the other flip side you're using the other side of your brain where you're having to be quite data driven very analytical really kind of logical and and seeing um seeing the numbers being able to interpret those numbers and convey them to stakeholders to the business to your team um or convert those into uh, improving your your campaigns. You know, it's, it's then kind of performance management or having KPIs that you're then having to work to, so being quite target driven. So um, I've loved that aspect too, where you're using both sides of your brain and you are really making an impact to the business. And this is something I've loved as well because. Um, I feel that there was a point where marketers weren't uh, as appreciated or um, valued as much as they should be. And they were usually the first one to go in a recession or, or, you know, when a business needs to make cuts. But actually, so much more now, um, there's an appreciation and an understanding of the value that marketers bring and how important it is to have um, marketers within your business and how much that can influence your sales, your brand perception, your customer loyalty, you know, the, the kind of overall business growth, it has a direct impact on um, your business success. So in terms of job security, I think that there's always going to be jobs for marketers. And um, yeah, it's just going to continue to grow. So um, yeah, I mean, my decision to switch to self-employed to being my own boss wasn't intentional. I had decided to leave my job because I've been there for so long and I wanted to just try something new because I was in my comfort zone. So this was the end of 2019, <laughs> pre-COVID. So I thought I would take a couple of months off, have a mini sabbatical and then get a new job but obviously covid happened <laughs> and um and i was kind of forced to to become my own boss in a way because um i was i'd moved country so i'd moved to scotland and i was living in the remote scottish countryside so in terms of accessibility to jobs um you know i wasn't in london anymore where there's so much more opportunity yeah, from my own personal experience so I um, got a lot of freelance work. I had different projects I've worked on um, over the past year and a half. I have met so many interesting companies and people through my experience. Um, it's been cool being my own boss, being so flexible, having a lot of time. Obviously, there's the challenges. It's not glamorous when you're running your own business because you're having to pitch for business. You're having to do all of your own accounting. You know, you're having to you're not going to have a stable income depending on maybe some projects you might have ongoing freelance work that's every month but it's not always guaranteed you know there could be a point where they then cut you so um you know in terms of stability um that isn't there when you're your own boss um and obviously it can be a bit lonely because you you're just on your own you're not part of a team anymore you've not got really a manager um you're you are your own boss obviously you've got your clients and they'll give you feedback but you know they're not your manager that they're, they're your you're an expert in their eyes, you're a you're a specialist. So you kind of have to know everything. You've got to have all the answers. So um, that's been very interesting, switching from the corporate nine to five to being my own boss, being a freelancer as well. Um, and I can delve deeper into this and create more videos um, sharing my experience of that. Um, if you're interested, just drop me a comment, let me know. But um, 
this has been my experience so far of being a marketer and my career um, so far. And in terms of um, my tidbits of wisdom, my tidbits of inspiration, I would say that you will never get bored being a marketer, being a digital marketer. There is just no time for it. You're always going to be busy. There's always going to be something. <laughs> you get to be really creative. Um, it can be so fun coming up with campaigns, coming up with ideas of how to reach people, the research phase, the creative testing, the A-B testing that you get to do. Um, it's just really fun from that perspective. You can have a real business impact, a real direct impact on your business from a commercial perspective. Um, so being being good with numbers, really kind of digging into the data, understanding um, what the business objectives are and how you can help meet, meet those from a marketing perspective. It, it's just great. It just, you know, the amount of value that you're adding to a business. Um, it's so, it's, it's just really high. So I love that too. And um, in terms of job security, I think it's there because there will always be jobs, you know, even if you did get cut, you know, if there was some sort of global pandemic or recession and they're having to cut down their marketing teams, you will always find another job. There will always be a role for a marketer, whether it is specialised, whether it is a broad generalist role, whether it's a large or small company, but there will always be something that you can fall into within this industry. And um, yeah, for me, it's it's something that I imagine I will be working in for a long time. I love it. I love the people that I've met. They're all so smart, they're intelligent, they're driven, they're creative. Um, so yes, that is just um, a bit of an insight into my journey as a digital marketer so far and why I love it. Um, and I hope this has been helpful for you. Reach out with any questions. I will create more videos if you would like to drill down into specific areas or you have specific questions. But um, until then, I wish you all the best of luck on your journey. I hope you get everything you want and that you're looking for in your career. And lots and lots of love to you. Bye guys.